Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. In today's lecture, we will talk and clear our concept about constants. Unlike variables, constants are identifiers whose values are fixed and cannot be changed during the execution of a program. Ladies and gentlemen, in the previous two lectures, we talked about the variables in greater detail. Variable is a word taken from variation. Variation means changeable. And I told you in the definition of the variable that it's a memory location whose values can be changed. On the other hand, constants are identifiers whose values cannot be changed. There are many situations in programming life that sometimes you need to declare an identifier and you want then nobody should change the value of that variable. If somebody mistakenly uh, changing the value of that variable the compiler will return an error message. For example, if I give you an example from daily life or on the uh, science, natural sciences, the value of G, which is uh, acceleration due to gravity is constant and that is 9.8 meter per second square. The value of pi is constant so it is desirable that nobody should change the value of pi as well as that of the uh, g once we declare a constant then no user will be able to change the value of that constant if by mistake a user is trying to change the value of a constant then the user will get an error message I told you in the previous lecture that program development is the game of variables and constant. Believe me that if you clear the basic concept of variables and constants, your life in the uh, programming will be easy. So we talked about the variables and in today's lecture, we will talk about the constants. We will do practical programs to clear our concept. Remember that there are two types of constants, not only in Python, but any programming language. Number one is integer constant and the second one is non-integer constants. Uh, Non-integer constant can be further subdivided into two parts, that is character constant and string constants. Unfortunately, there is no integer constant concept in Python, just like we are having its concept in C and Java, C++, and uh, COBOL, Fortran, many other uh, high level languages, there is no concept of the integer constant, but there is a concept of string constant and character constant. You cannot create a constant identifier in Python whose value will not be changed. So what we should do, we shouldn't use the constant because there is no concept of constant inside the Python. No, ladies and gentlemen, we can declare a variable, but we will devise a plan for it that if the variable is written in lowercase letter, we must have to write constant in uppercase letter in the capital letters for differentiation so that when we are changing the value of a variable that is in capital letters we will understand that this is constant we shouldn't change the value of this one 
so in python constant are declared on module level and one example you saw that in the previous lecture that there was math.py so math is a module and it is defined inside that module and we can use it but we cannot create our own a constant just like we are declaring with the keyword const in C and C++. But its value can be changed when we declare a constant is a variable. So, its value and when the value is changeable, then we cannot call that identifier as constant. The programmer must make sure that the value of constant does not change during the course of coding how one such case of constant declaration we saw in the program we created for the area of circle in which there was a is equal to pi r square there was a command math dot pi pi was a constant which was declared in math module now because there is no concept of constant we can declare a variable, assign it a value at the time of initialization. But how we will differentiate between variables and constant? Now, in the green text I written to differentiate between variables and constant, we must use the concept of capital letter or at least one capital letter so that we will make sure that the value of constant must not be changed during the execution of a program. We can use underscore to separate words in constant and this is the basic rule for naming the variable. For example, if I am writing father, father is one word, name is another word, you cannot provide an embedded space between father and name, it is illegal. So, instead of the a space you have to write underscore so father underscore name you can see that the first letter is written as capital grand total g is capital and t so that we will understand this is not variable and this is constant you can see pi is written in uppercase letter if we are defining it as a variable but because the name is an uppercase letter, so we will understand that it is pi. We should not change the value of this pi. This is one technique that you can use. Now, I told you that one is integer constant and the second one is non-integer constant. I told you that integer constant are further categorized into two groups that is character constant. What is character constant? Anything enclosed in single quotation is called character constant. Whenever you are seeing that whether if it is a number or any character, for example, male, female, true, false, married, unmarried, on, up. Only single character must be enclosed in this single quotation mark. So, this is a correct. Whenever you are encountering such a situation, you must have to understand that it is a character constant. Constant means it will not change. Whatever the value is, it will be printed as it is. Now, the second one is a string constant. What is string? First, we have to understand that the combination of different characters is called string. For example, if I am talking about the Peshawar, so P is a character, E is a character, S is a character, H is a character, A, W, A, R or all characters. So, that is a string. The combination of character here we are seeing that there is only one character but if multiple characters are entered that this is string how we will differentiate we will enclose that in double quotation mark so here i have written the combination of characters is called string 
anything enclosed inside double quotation is called string constraint. I told you that anything enclosed in single quotation is called character constraint and anything enclosed inside the double quotation is called string constraint. Remember that string constraint are used if you are generating a report and for that you are saying report for the month of May 2024 like this. So you have to use string constraint. You can give prompt to the users. For example, in this case, I wrote in double quotation, enter your name. So this is a constraint. What does it mean? It means that it will never change. Whatever written inside, the computer will not understand that. The computer will print as it is. So this is the E as a character, N as a character and so on. So all the combination of different character is called string. And this is a string constant. Why? Because it is enclosed in double quotation mark. Uh, remember that string constant as I told you are used for report heading and giving prompt to the user. Now let us write a program to find the weight of a body near the surface of the earth. Why I selected this program? Because there is a constant inside W is equal to mg. G is a constant. So we have to declare that as a constant. And m is the mass and mass is a variable. So that is why I selected that uh, mathematical form of weight due to gravity is w is equal to mg where weight w is weight. Weight is also a force. When we compare it with the F is equal to MA, which is the Newton's second law. So F is equal to W. W is a, also a force with which the earth attracts a body towards its center. So we will devise a plan that how many variables I should declare. There are three variables inside it. One is W, which we are going to find. But we have to declare that because we will store the value of mass and gravity inside that. So where W is equal to weight, M is equal to mass and G is acceleration due to gravity whose value is constant and that is 9.8 meter per second square near the surface of the earth. The value of the g is changing with the altitude. So I am uh, writing it in green that near the surface of the earth. On the moon, the value of g will be different than the value of g on the earth. So if we give a closer look to the above formula, then we will observe that there are two variables w and m and one constant g. You have to declare those. So this is a program I am discussing it and then we will do it practically. Mass is a variable in which we are storing floating point value. For example, 3.5, 4.0, if you are giving it as 8, automatically the computer will do the type casting of that and it will become 8.0. So there is no need to write 8. Point. If you are writing 8.3, it is mandatory to write 8.3. But if you are writing only 8.0, then there is no need to write 8.0, just write 8 and computer will automatically convert it to float. Here I am giving the user a prompt, enter mass in kilogram of the body as an integer. And you can see that is what I talked about that when you are declaring a constant, although it is a variable, but because you are declaring it in uppercase letters, so it will be considered as a constant, not for the compiler, but for the programmer itself. So gravity 
is equal to 9.8. Now, if I am changing the value of gravity, I have to write the name gravity in uppercase and quickly I will understand that I have written this in uppercase. So, it is a constant. I should not change the value of this constant. Now, according to that formula, weight is equal to mass into gravity. And then I am print because there is a concept of string constant tell here. So, it will be printed as it is. Remember, dear students, that weight, this one is totally different from this weight. This one is enclosed inside the double quotation marks and it will be printed weight, word. But because this weight is not enclosed inside the double quotation marks, so it is a variable. And whatever stored at this uh, memory location will be, store, will be printed on the screen. And again, I am enclosing this in double quotation, so it will be printed Newton. Because Newton is the unit of weight. Now, remember that this weight is totally different from this weight. This weight is enclosed in double quotation and this weight is not enclosed. So, it is a variable and this is a string constant. I am telling the compiler to print whatever value this weight location is having. What is weight? Weight is calculated from here after the mass and gravity when this expression is evaluated. So, it will be stored inside the weight and we are printing it here. This is also enclosed in double quotation, so it will be Newton. Now, remember that I have written here in kilogram, enter the mass in kilogram, you do not have to write kilogram with the uh, quantity. For example, you do not have to write 4 kilogram, you have to write kilogram, but will have in mind that this is in kilogram. Now, let us do this program. Uh, practically in IDE. I have written this program for you in advance and exactly it is the same and I explain it. Let us run this program and see the result that what result it is given to us. So, here I am running and according to the first statement, it is asking me to enter the value. As I told you, you have to enter 4 only, you do not have to write kilogram with it. Now, it is calculated and weight of the body. This weight is printed as it is, but this weight is printed as 39.2 and Newton is printed as it is. So, now, to clear more concept about the variables and these things, we are talking about the arithmetic operations. In Python, there are many arithmetic operators in which there is a plus, there is a minus with which you are quite familiar from mathematics. But in mathematics, cross symbol is used for multiplication here, asterisk is used. There are two types of division. One is called integer division and one is called reader division. For integer division, we are using double slash as you saw in the earlier programs. Let us discuss this program. First, I am asking the user to enter the first number and that will be integer due to this type casting operator. Here, I am saying enter the second number and then it will print the steric just for beautification it will be printed on the screen not on the uh, paper if we want to print it on the paper there are other commands we will use those in the subsequent command so here it will be printed and first num will be printed as it is plus is enclosed in double quotation mark so it will be printed as plus and second num again is a variable so the value will be printed here is equal to and then first plus second this arithmetic operator plus is performing the addition. Similarly, in this case, first num minus second num, the values of this. First num variable, 
minus will be printed as it is and second num variable and is equal to will be printed as it is and then first minus seconds in this case it will give you for example if the user is entering here 20 and here 10 so first number will give you what first number will give you 20 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 20 minus 10 is equal to 10 20 multiplied by 10 is equal to 200 and 20 multiplied divided by 10 is equal to 2 this is integer division if you are writing only one slash that will be a real division and real division means that it will give you the number in floating point now there is star for beautification so let us run this program in the uh, IDE environment I have written this program for you in advance and exactly I explained it in the uh, slide so here first num and second number and all these calculation will be done let me first clear the screen it is CLS and then let us run the program and we will see that what result it produced by this program first of all I have to write the first number and as I told you that it is 20 and it is 10 the second number you can provide any number but just for testing purpose I am providing the initial data now it is saying 20 because this is 20 not first number this first number is stored the value of 20 and second number 10 so second number is 10 and this plus is printed as it is is equal to is printed as it is because it is a string constant then there is arithmetic operation first num plus second num and that num will also be first num and second num will be stored similarly first num minus second num first num multiplied by second num and first num integer division division by second num so it will give you can see that these stars are printed just for beautification nothing else if you are not typing these things then it doesn't mean that your program will not work your program will work now let us do another program to clear our concept and that is the table multiplication table program for generating the table let us discuss this program that is the final program for today num will be taken from the user what is this num the table of which number for example if one I want to print the multiplication multiplication table of num 7 so 7 will be assigned to num and is it is not in close and double quotation so it will 7 and this cross multiplied by 1 7 ones are num multiplied by 1 means 7 ones are 7 so 7 twos are 14 7 threes are and so on up till 10 it will be produced and then at the end it will print these sterics so let us do this program practically on the computer screen and then we will see that what it is doing I have written this program in the first type it will take the number and it will be integer to keep it simple you can provide 7.2 9.3 but due to this type casting it will be converted to the nearest whole number so whatever number the user is enter it will be stored inside the num variable and then num multiplied by 1 is equal to num plus 1 and so on it will be printed let us run this program and see what result the compiler is giving us because we given certain instruction now according to this first statement it is asking me to enter for example if i am printing the table of 7 so when i press this you can see 7 ones are 7 the num value is in this case 7 so all these num 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 will be stored as a 7 and then 1 2 3 4 because we want to multiply it with 1 2 3 4 5 
and then num multiplied by 1 means 7 multiplied by 1, 7 multiplied by 2 and this is the job of the compiler to produce you the result 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 and so on is produced. Now ladies and gentlemen hopefully you have cleared your concept and you will clear your concept because you will never find a program without a constant without a variable just I told you that uh, it is the game of variable and constant do practice on it write it if you are not writing a single comma or a parenthesis you will not get the result programming is just the work of practice if you are seeing it just like mathematics without practice you will never learn mathematics similar case is with programming do practice do other programs other than this one if you are writing my programs whatever i have written here and you are becoming very happy that i learned the programming then this is not think on other programs and solve it by yourself believe me when you solve a very small program you will feel extremely happy have a nice time thank you a lot